In April of this year, 2022, Elon Musk said Tesla may need to get into lithium refining. And yesterday, the 9th of September, it just announced that you know Tesla could start building a lithium refinery for EV batteries in Texas this year, 2022. That's just after five months of saying that. So down here, it's saying that electric giant, electric car giant Tesla is evaluating the feasibility of a lithium hydroxide refining facility on the Gulf Coast of uh, Texas. Tesla said the plant could be focused on the development of battery grade lithium hydroxide and be the first of its kind in North America, according to a newly re released letter to the uh, Texas Comptroller's Office. The company would process raw ore material into a usable state for factory production, then ship the lithium hydroxide to various uh, Tesla battery manufacturing facilities, according to the application. So, okay, yes, the price of lithium is up 120% this year, according to uh, a tracking index from Bench Benchmark Intelligence, Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. And look at that, other commodities, other commodities, the popular ones, silver, apart from palladium, copper, platinum, uh, gold, iron ore, all of them, you can see that all of them are down apart from palladium that is just slightly up as a matter of fact seven percent is not a huge one still but not not that far off from its uh, 52 week low uh, copper down 15.91 percent platinum down 6.6 percent gold down two percent iron ore down 22.32 percent so uh, the reverse is the case for lithium you know so you can imagine and uh, you can feel for the most for you know um, seeking to get Tesla, in, you know, into uh, lithium refining and all that stuff, you know. So the move, which is also likely to be to to uh, is also likely a bit to diversify to that diversify the supply chain of its lithium and battery production. Okay, China controls more than half of the world's lithium processing and refining, and the United States is just one percent. So you know, uh, this will be applauded in, indeed, especially with uh, the. Uh, inflation reduction act and all that stuff as part of the application to Texas the company said it is considering other battery man materials processing refining and man manufacturing and ancillary manufacturing oper operations in support of Tesla's sustainable production line and indeed some of those other metals although some of those uh, metals are involved in the uh, manufacturing of batteries yes um, obviously uh, copper is there I think Copper is there, silver is there. You know, these are highly conductive metals. Gold is equally there as well. You know, the, you know platinum. I don't know how much get it goes into a battery production, into a battery, into a, an EV battery. So if tes Tesla's application is approved, the cons uh, construction could begin in the fourth quarter of this year, 2022. The company indicated the project will reach commercial operation by the fourth or fourth quarter of 2024. Tesla said it, it is still evaluating the feasibility of this project and uh, only very pre preliminary development activities have begun. Okay, no engineering construction or procurement, uh, con procurement construction contracts have been negotiated or signed and no regulatory permits have been obtained, Tesla indicated. Uh, Tesla said the project could be located anywhere with access to the Gulf Coast shipping channel. Yes, it makes sense. Tesla said it is evaluating a a competing site in Louisiana as well as well Tesla said the only way this project will be viable is if uh, Texas gives it uh, tax breaks under its law okay so that's you see it's uh, getting complicated there and I believe maybe Texas might okay in the case of the investment on this proposed tax project in Texas the decision will be based on a number of commercial and financial considerations including the ability to obtain refining sorry obtain relief regarding at local uh, property taxes according to the application lithium is critical is a critical metal for batteries that go into everything from electric cars from smartphones uh, lithium is a critical metal for batteries that go into everything from electric cars and uh, up to smartphones given the strategic importance of such rare earth metals and China's mining dominance of them there has been concern from Washington that Beijing could cut off critical supplies of lithium and other materials okay yeah what, what does this mean what how does this bode for other lithium refiners like uh, lithium americas american battery metals 
and um, standard lithium how does this affect them you know well uh, it's just uh, ups the it just uh, raises the competition you know everybody has to buckle up you know and uh, get serious get you know find ways of um, getting your 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 refined product uh, much more competitive you know so uh, I, and indeed you know Tesla isn't the only uh, battery and uh, lithium hydroxide uh, consu uh, as consumer they're indeed a plethora of other companies you know that are you know definitely going to depend on all the other um, bathroom sorry uh, lithium refiners you know so they're indeed a, a host a lot a host of all of them another thing is that um, uh, if this continues to go ahead if um, um, Tesla succeeds in getting this uh, uh, battery uh, lithium refinery going you know from 2024 you know if down the line it could always spin it off as a separate company you know that's also something that can happen you know so um, indeed from time to time you know this is also something people investors will be looking at and they, and they may want to uh, maybe instigate them to do so you know so it's a space and interesting um, prospect you know so it's it definitely increases uh, the interest in tesla you know in the long run it will definitely do so you know so um the folks at um Schaefer's investment research uh, uh, are saying that following the news tesla stock was last seen high when they wrote this of 1.4 okay it was it closed uh it's it was last seen at a 3.6 percent higher to trade at uh, 299.68 dollars okay so a mid a mid august rejection at uh, 315 dollar level sent tesla's uh, tumbling on the charts yes let's see that this is where it happened a 315 dollar rejection yes in mid march yes that's where it happened and uh, saw it tumbling and got support on its 50 day moving average yes uh, do this equity is now on track to snap a three-week losing streak uh, still the shares remain 17.2% uh, lower year to date okay so uh, down here it says that the underlying indicators are beginning to slip into a neutral position yes if momentum continues to weaken um, further weakness may develop in the stock the stock has uh, outperformed the market over the last 50 trading days when compared to the S&P 500 Though the technical conditions uh, of Tesla is deteriorating, an intermediate, the MACD light, an intermediate uh, term trend indicator remains bullish at this time. If the stock closes below $281.06, a change in trend will be confirmed. Okay, so it, ha it didn't close below that, it closed above that, it closed at 299. So upside momentum, uh, upside momentum as measured by the nine day. RSI indicator remains positive. Okay, I think uh, I think also that will be the case with the 14 period slow stochastic oscillator as well. Uh, let's get that here. 14 period slow stochastic oscillator. We have it here. Yes, as well. It's equally positive as well. Yeah, the stock is in a short term overbought condition based on the 14 based on a slow stochastic reading of 80 or higher. Yes um over the last 50 trading sessions um there has been uh, more volume on down days than on than on up days indicating that tesla is under distribution which is a bearish, bearish condition the stock is trading above its 50 day moving average 50 day moving average on its daily chart if tesla falls below this important support level it could trigger additional selling pressure tesla is holding above a declining 200 day moving average is it Let's have a look and see what's going down there. Yes, it's above it just yesterday, exactly. As a matter of fact, that was when it happened yesterday. You can see that that's the event. One of the events that happened it says price crossed above the 200 day moving average. Uh, price rose to 200 day moving average of 295.80 on above on average volume. Okay, yes. And it's also above the 50 day moving average, yeah, above all of its moving averages on this daily chart. So yes all in all tesla appears TS, TS, tesla appears to be consolidating within a longer term uptrend although it's uh a dx or 
average directional index is below 20 indicating that the shares have exhibited sideways movement recently uh, both the 200 and the 10-day moving average averages are falling which implies that the over large overall trend is lower but it's also outperforming the s p 500 so yes uh, going back here and it says in the in option speed traders have moved uh, in moved in favor of bearish bets in recent weeks at the international securities exchange cboe and uh, nasdaq omx phlx the equities 10-day put call ratio is uh 10.0 sorry 1.03 in the 50 50 percentile of its annual range this means that puts have been uh much more popular of late yes there's been a slight shift in sentiment this uh, yesterday the ninth however within the first half first first hour of trading more than 226,000 calls exchanged hands which is double the intraday average I'll be seeing the 131,000 puts uh, traded uh, as, a, as of when they wrote that piece. So new positions are being opened at the most popular contract, the weekly 9th of September. Okay, that was that had that have just expired. 295 dollar calls, and that's uh, also where the 200 day moving average was. That starts the price as well, just slightly above that. So uh, those uh, looking to join uh, these. Uh, Traders are in luck as Tesla's uh, stock spots are for the bull premium at the moment. And this is uh, based on uh, Schaefer's volatility uh, index of 44%, which which stands at which stands in the relatively low 19th percent 19th percentile of readings from the last 12 months, implying option traders are pricing in lower than usual volatility expectations. Okay. So yes, what they mean, what if they are pricing a lower than usual volatility expectations, if they're expecting that um, um, also maybe there will be more liquidity, liquidity as well, because when there's more liquidity, there's also low volatility as well. Uh, there will be low, they're expecting less aggression, you know, that's amongst other things, you know, so. Um, so what's more, Tesla's Schaefer's volatility scorecard tallies on, um, or tally is that uh, it's one out of 100 we suggest equity trends which suggest the equity tends to outperform said volatility expectations so yes see what you make of all of these um, news concerning uh, Tesla opening up uh, or proposing to get into uh, the uh, lithium hydroxide refining and how it's going to affect all the um, lithium all the smaller companies that are into re lithium refining and all that stuff you know so Thank you very much for watching this video.